These are the stock springs of my Tenere, the forks and the shock absorber. It is obvious that I've changed them, but with what? And maybe the most important, why? I'm gonna answer in this video. So if you have nothing to do, grab your favorite drink and stay with me. Welcome back. The first question that I plan to answer in this video is why I decided to change the springs of my Tenere. And the answer is very simple. Because the stock suspension is set for rider 75 to 80 kilograms maximum. At the moment, I weigh 105 kilograms. When I have my riding gear, I will easily go over 110 kilograms. If I add my saddlebag as well, it will be 125, maybe 130 kilograms altogether. So it is obvious that the stock suspension is not exactly for me. But even though I gave it one year, more than 23,000 kilometers, I rode it in any kind of terrains to see how exactly suspension works and what changes are necessary. To be honest, for a normal road use, this suspension is more than enough. But as soon as I moved from the main roads and hit some dirt tracks, I very quickly found its limitations. Because of my weight, as I told you, I am more than 110 kilograms, every time when I have to hit a big hole, a big pothole or one a jump after another and hit the opposite side, the suspension, the, especially the folks, were compressed right to the bottom and actually hit the bottom. Bam! 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 And if you do it uh, many times, you can actually destroy your cartridge. And if this happens somewhere in the middle of nowhere, you're totally screwed up. You have to stop and find a new spare parts and your, your journey is over. With all of this being said, let me now show you what springs I use and how exactly I did it. Nice, isn't it? I hope that this information will be useful to at least one person to make the right choice. Hello? I see! <laughs> Too short? No, 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 I made it on purpose. Because someone told me that people never watch videos on YouTube longer than 5 minutes, that's why. Ah, no problem, no problem. I can do it. See you. Hmm, it looks like some people prefer to watch long videos, so I will play you the full length of the video. It is obvious that the suspension is soft, but I'm really curious to know what will be the end result. The technical procedure to change the forks, springs and the shock spring, it's not that difficult and I can do it by myself. But because my friend and mechanic Plamen also got Tenere and he's also very curious to know what will be the end result, I'll go there and uh, we'll change it, test it. And of course, we'll share everything with you guys. Every time when I come here in this garage, I feel so good. Plamen just bought this Beta 300 two-stroke for his dirt rides. And yesterday, it was a big party here. Uh, but when it comes to work, always on time. Good morning. morning. How are you? So. The first thing that we're gonna do is to measure the sack, the proper sack with the stock springs and then we're gonna see the difference. 65. Now because we, we've got these socks, we're gonna just measure from point to point. 64.5. Now it's on its own weight. She's here? She's, she's here, no. 61, yeah, 61.5 because I have preload on the back. The numbers that we've got are a little bit confusing because the static sack is only, I'll say like five, six percent, it should be 10. And the sack with my own weight should be like 27, 30 percent, but it is around 10 percent, which is mean that the springs are harder they, that they should be. Let's measure once again because 
The numbers are not what I have been expected. She said pet do plus master do cry. Sixty-five, okay. Sixty-four point five. She said three point one. Добре. Наваш сега. Ще си е едно. Всичко точно, не? Ще си е едно. Сега ще висне повече тук. Отпуснаме. Така е, 59.5. 61.59.5. Седмиша 55. 55, явиш отпред? 55. Пред си е пак 59. 59 на 55. 59 на 55, ще извиняй трешката. 59 на 55. Once again, the results are very confusing. The static sack is 65 front, 64.5. Then with the own weight 61, 59.5, it's around 5% of um, the total amount. And then with me on the top 59, 55, which is around 10%. So usually here should be 10% and here should be 30%. This shows that the springs are harder than they should be. But the reality is different. As I said, the result is very, very confusing to me. And <laughs> I'm even more curious why, why does it happen? Why the bike is hard when you ride on the just raw terrains and why it became soft when you go to really deep potholes? Let's first remove the shock. Uh, heating is a big deal. Има ли достъп? Добре, сега имаме възможност на болт. Това е възможността. Това е възможността, но това е възможността от пламен, когато възможността възможността. Това не е възможността така. Това е The, the the spring thickness eleven fifty one twelve ninety eight one millimeter and little bit more. Let's go back to the factory settings. Compression and rebound. There is a difference around almost almost one centimeter.
Mach's gut. Ще го прави. Нека да го обезвъздуши, ще се оправи. Де си го носил? Сто да останем на пружина е доста голяма. Смисъл от пружината да е. Не мажи на мостака гумата. Аз как ги взема. This is the right moment to see what is underneath after one year of use, 23,000 км. No scratches, no damages, no sand marks, no dumps. So the socks really worth the price. Ти май табли за пак се продавам сара. Продали го ме? Inside diameter. 26. А, няма да го носи скали на. Той 27, окей. This is the inside shim. We can change this as well. I'm not sure about the price, but at the moment I don't want to change it. The length is the same, the thickness is a little bit different, and the rows are a few more, I think. You see the difference. Regarding to the specifications in the manual, it said um, 624 milliliters of oil and 85 millimeters of air gap. But here now, based on the sheet of the springs that we bought, it said 80 millimeters air gap and 650 milliliters of oil. And something very important, the the spring guide need to be removed otherwise it will show you wrong so when everything is done then you have to assemble the the spring guide after that so now we have exactly 80 millimeters of air gap something very important to have the right clicks which are all together 31 you have to have uh, the right measurement here between the, the nut and the top of the pillow. It's exactly 17.5 millimeters. And then you're gonna have 31 clicks. If you make more or less, you'll have uh, different clicks. All right, let's measure now. She say no, I pull one sixty-one point five. Yeah, we should say sixty-three. Ah, da, you see it? You see it? I can feel the difference. Yeah. When I look the numbers, it looks like there is no difference in the front forks. Fifty-nine centimeters with me. Fifty-nine point four with the stiffer springs. 58 on the back, 55 with the old spring. There is difference here, but when you sit on it, 
It's really noticeable. So let's write a bit. The numbers are numbers, but the real test will tell me what exactly it is. So I have to find uh, a bumpy road and ride it a bit to see what is the difference. And I, I know a very good place for that purpose. There are some potholes, one after another, that usually stress the suspension a lot. But I think that this is very, very different now. Especially the rear. Rear is fantastic. These light bumps, road riding, I think the difference is, is really noticeable. Now I'll go to find some deep bumps and see what exactly it will be. And let's now make the final test. So far, I can tell you that there is a big difference. Here usually I hit the bottom, not now. Yeah, much better. Very good, very, very good. And this will be the last section that I plan to try. It's a hard gravel road very bumpy and now I have like uh, 60 kilometers per hour going to bump after bump and it's handled it absolutely brilliant Here, jump. Yeah. Wonderful. I have 70 kilometers per hour on this bumps, and it flies over it. Absolutely no problems whatsoever. It was not possible before.
the best of everything is that uh, now on this type of bumps like I right now it handled very well before that everything was going to my forearms here now it's just just very good let me turn here very well very very well they, they really got me they really impressed me honestly I think that this this is enough for today from here it's going to be too muddy now after the rains but I think that you got the idea and of course nothing better than beautiful road and, and nice suspension even though you may think that there is no connection between it's actually very important So let me now go back to the garage and uh, tell you my final conclusion. The springs I bought from a German company named Off The Road. I do not have any affiliate programs with them. I bought these springs with my own money. So for me, it doesn't matter will you buy it or not. I will link their website in the description down below. I know that this company got a good reputation. I used it a few times when I was back in Germany and I know that they sell only quality products. Who exactly produced these um, springs? I have no idea, but I told you, I believe that they have a nice quality standards. As I told you, the stock Yamaha fork and shock springs are set for 70-80 kg riders. 5.8 newtons per millimeter for the forks and 70 newtons per millimeter for the shock. The new forks springs are 6.6 .6 newtons per millimeter and 90 newtons per millimeter for the shock. This is about 20% harder than the Yamaha stock springs and the fork oil that I used was Motorex 10W. Alright, I think I covered everything, but if you have any additional questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. If you press like, it will help me a lot. If you subscribe, even better. See you next time. Ciao.